Welcome to my brand new channel. This is my very first video and I am so excited to be getting started. I am creating this channel because I want this to be a place where I can bring you on this journey with me as I go through my PhD program. So here's the thing. I just really have this desire to share this journey that I'm going to be going on with people. I really hope to build a community where we can all support each other. And I also want to share my experiences so that maybe somebody else out there can learn from them, maybe even be inspired by them. That, I mean, it's kind of a lofty goal, I know, but that's just really, I mean, it's a dream that I have. And I'm really hoping that you guys enjoy what I have to say and you learn something. And I hope that you guys will join me on this ride through my PhD journey. With that being said, this is my very first video and I am very excited to share with you guys my first kind of maybe tips and tricks that I am doing and that is by sharing with you the six things that I am doing this summer to prepare to start graduate school in the fall. So as I mentioned, I will be starting my PhD program this fall in biology with my specialty in molecular biology and genetics. And I'm really excited to get started, like really excited. I wish it was starting tomorrow because I hate waiting. But while I'm waiting, I've decided to focus on some habits and some actions that I hope can set me up for success in the next five, six, however many years this program's take me. Really hope it doesn't take me longer than six years. <laughs> That's a whole other story, guys. So I'm gonna share with you guys the six things that I'm doing this summer to prepare me for graduate school. And the first thing that I'm doing, pretty simple lifestyle thing. I am exercising more. I am currently getting back into a running schedule. It has been a long time since I did any sort of running and you might call me crazy for even thinking about this, but it has always been a dream of mine to run a marathon. So what better time than now, right before I start a PhD program, is it to start thinking about training for a marathon. Yeah, I'm a little crazy, but that. <laughs> but anyways, obviously I'm not starting to train for a marathon right now since I haven't run in forever. I have been training for a 5k and I'm actually getting really close to being able to run my first 5k and that is a whole other journey that I am planning on doing a video about to share with you guys. But anyways, before I ramble on and on and on, so the first thing that I'm doing is just getting back into an exercise routine. Exercise is super important for me to be healthy mentally and physically so that I, my body is able to deal with the stress and the rigor that comes with a graduate school program. And I just want to get myself ready for that. That kind of goes hand in hand with the second thing that I am doing this summer. And that is to build habits that help me be more healthy mentally and emotionally. It Graduate school is really, really hard on you mentally and emotionally. I have my master's degree and I went through two years of graduate school and I know from experience that there are times where it just gets so hard and having those mental and emotional coping mechanisms already in place is very important because you can't you don't have time or the capability to build those things when you're already stressed and you're already breaking down. You just need to have those go-tos that 
already help you build up. So a couple of those things for me this summer have been eating healthier and drinking lots of water. Super simple things that I just want to be a habit before I start my program. Also doing some self-care, researching some good self-care items. I um, have been looking into what's just best to boost me mentally and emotionally. The third thing that I am doing this summer is I am getting used to communicating with people again. Uh, that may sound kind of weird, but I've been away from a professional setting for almost a full year now. And when you're away from that setting, you lose that like practice, that ease of communication, communicating professionally. Now that I'm getting back into my PhD program and I've had to start communicating via emails, we've done Zoom because of the coronavirus that's going on right now, um, just communicating this way, it takes a lot of effort, especially for an introvert. Yep, that's me. Um, so I'm just kind of getting used to doing those things again, almost psyching myself up um, and just diving back into the professional and communication world. The fourth thing that I am doing this summer is I am being a little crazy and I'm already starting to review my materials for this next year. Um, what that looks like for me is I am contacting professors for the classes that I'm going to be taking to find out what books I'm going to need, if there's any reading that I can get started on. I also have to take an entrance exam in biochemistry. So a huge focus of mine has been refreshing my biochemistry, uh, dating myself just a little bit. I haven't taken biochem since 2013, so my brain definitely needed a little refresher on that. And just getting back into the habit of actually studying also. Those things, now this is something that I debated actually doing this summer because I was thinking, I'm going to start doing these things in the fall and I'm not going to stop for how many years? But I decided it was more worth it to get a little bit of jump and hopefully help spread out some of the things that I'm going to need to do this first year so that I can try and have a less stressful first year. I'm hoping that this works out. So far, I've been able to study enough that I feel like I'm getting something accomplished, but not so much that I feel like I'm already getting burnt out. Um, part of that for me too, though, is that I am a learner. I love to be learning something. If I wasn't studying these things, I would be reading books, I would be doing research on different topics on the internet. I just love learning. So for me, it's not that big of a leap to start in these specific areas. The fifth thing that I'm doing this summer, number five, is I've actually been exploring and gathering some information on what I could potentially expect from a PhD program. I've been doing this through watching some really awesome YouTubers and their experience. And don't get me wrong, there are some really awesome YouTubers out there who have given their experience. But I've also noticed that there's not a ton of them. That's part of the reason why I'm starting this channel is because I wanted to share my experience and try and get a broader perspective out there of what is going on, uh, what you could expect. Also, I was really inspired listening to some of these people and watching some of these vlogs and that just kind of spurred me on to hopefully I can be that inspiration for somebody. I know that's kind of a, I know that's kind of a, a big dream and that's kind of, I don't know, something people normally wouldn't say. But I'm just going to put that out there, that if I can inspire even one person to chase their dreams, no matter what they are, that this whole channel will have been worth it for me, beyond the other goals I have of building a community and getting to know people out there. 
the last thing, number six, that I'm doing this summer, and this is probably the most important thing for me, is I'm spending some really quality time with my family. Um, I know from my experience in graduate school that you can get busy really fast, priorities shift from day to day, week to week, month to month, and being a mom, uh, I, I was a mom during my other graduate school experience also. So being a mom, I'm just focusing on spending some really quality time with my kids now. While I don't have any other distraction, I don't have any other um, priorities really that, you know, are pressing on me. So that helps me focus on my kids, spend some quality time with them. I'm also spending some quality time with my husband and making sure that you know, I just get to have that relationship completely unhindered for a while. And that's not to say that you shouldn't be building those good relationships while you're in graduate school. Um, it's just to say that while I have the time this summer, it's definitely a focus of mine. Now that makes the six things that I'm doing this summer. But if you have made it this far, I just want to give you a bonus. So this one kind of silly but it's really important to me so the last thing that I'm doing this summer is I am focused on how excited I am to start this program I cannot wait to get started this has been a dream of mine for longer than I can remember in some way shape or form and for it to be coming true, it means the world to me. So this summer, I am focusing on that. I'm holding on to that. I hope that I can come back to this video and remember this feeling because, don't get me wrong, <laughs> I am expecting there to be times where I am stressed. I'm wondering what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. I know there's going to be times where I think, um, should I quit? Is this worth it? And it 100% is worth it for me and I want to remember that and I want to hold on to that and I think that when we're pursuing our dreams things can always get tough but if we can hold on to the feeling and the motivation back when we started that is just going to help push us through. So that is all I have for you guys today. I want to thank you for starting this journey with me. If you are here right now, you are at the beginning with me. And I am so excited to meet you, to hear from you. If you're a graduate student who's going to be starting this fall, I would love to hear from you um, down in the comments, what you're doing this summer to prepare what you're excited about for your experience with graduate school. If you're a current graduate student, please let me know if any of these things would have been helpful for you or you think that they would be helpful for students. Also, since this channel is new, I do have quite a few ideas for videos for you, but if there's something that you are really interested in hearing about right off the bat, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I am really looking forward to hearing from you and sharing this journey with you. So till next time, bye.